Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to use the calculations tool to select hair in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by duplicating your background layer. Next, click on the channels tab and then individually click on the red, blue and green channels to see which one provides the best contrast. Blue seems to be the best for this image. Now click on image in the top menu and choose calculations. Since we're working with only one document here, our source one and source two dropdowns will remain the same. For layer one and layer two, I'm going to choose background copy. Channel one should be selected as blue since that provides the most contrast and channel two we can play around with. Choose subtract as the blending mode Leave the offset value as zero for now. For channel two, try selecting a different channel to see if it provides a better contrast. If not, leave it to blue. Make sure the invert checkbox is checked so our model and our hair shows up in white. Now increase the offset value to increase the contrast between the model and the background. I'm going to crank up the offset value to its maximum of 255 so we can capture all of the flyaway hair as well. Select new channel from the results dropdown and then click OK. You should now see alpha one channel in the channels tab. Now choose the brush tool from the left menu. Make sure to change the mode to soft light and decrease the flow to around 15%. Since soft light protects the dark white colors, it makes refining hair much easier. Slowly paint over the background and the flyaway hairs. Just make sure the foreground color is set to black since black means hide, white means show. Feel free to make multiple passes depending on how aggressively you want to refine the flyaway curly hair strands. Next, flip the foreground color to white and change the blend mode to normal. With flow set to 100%, paint over the model's face and body since we don't want to hide any of it. Now click on the load channel as selection button. This should result in marching ants around your selection. Now we can enable the RGB channel and hide alpha 1. With the background copy layer selected in the layers tab, click on the layer mask button. I'm going to create a new layer and move it below background copy and fill it with solid color. Let's use the color picker to sample a color from the image itself. To fix any artifacts that you still see from the channel selection, click on the layer mask icon and then choose the brush tool from the left menu. Just like we did before, make sure the mode is set to soft light, flow is set to 15%, and the foreground color is set to black. Slowly paint over any unwanted artifacts to remove them. Finally, to decontaminate any colors from the original image, click on layer from the top menu and select color decontaminate from the matting dropdown. Choose an amount to your liking and click OK. Now let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.